Welcome back to the channel, guys. Cesare here. I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. Andor is a show that's not for everybody. But trust me, guys. If you invest in this show, you'll end up watching probably the best Star Wars TV show that has ever been made. I know the Mandalorian fans are going to have to have something to say about that one. But that's the nice thing about television, guys. We can always talk about it. So, I finished Andor and I must say, wow, guys. This is the best thing Star Wars since The Mandalorian. Other than that, guys, everything has just been very bland and dull and not up to the standard required from Star Wars. So... This was amazing, guys. I can't speak enough about how good the show actually is. I mean, it's a espionage, drama, crime, thriller, sci-fi, all weaved into one, guys. It deals with a lot of elements, but the balance and the way it's written, it's amazing, guys. I mean, the acting here is top-notch. You have beautiful beautiful cinematography guys you can see that they didn't hold back when it comes to production value on the show that is what i love it's a show that people have definitely been sleeping on the marketing i don't know guys the numbers have been low but i find that strange guys because it's such a brilliant show i mean Whenever you hear Star Wars, you probably think this is going to be about lightsabers and Baby Yoda. and But it's not, guys. It's something more grounded, something more serious, more grimy, more gritty. I'm going to say it again, guys. This is if HBO did Star Wars, guys. I highly recommend that you guys watch this show. I really enjoyed it. And it's up there, guys. It's definitely up there. So you guys can watch Andor right now. All 12 episodes are out. So you can binge watch the whole thing at once if you haven't started watching it yet, guys. But it's a brilliant, brilliant show, guys. Diego Luna is a revelation in this. And I think Disney Plus should take note that 12 episodes, it works, guys. I mean, most of the shows that have been coming out has only been six episodes she Hulk was nine episodes, but this gives you a solid 12 episodes and it feels like a genuine TV show, guys. It feels like you're actually watching something, not something that's jumping all over the place, trying to squeeze everything into six episodes. So I'm very happy with this show, guys. I can't wait for season two. If you guys watch the season finale, don't forget there's a post credit scene. It's a nice one. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. You guys can watch the show and let me know what you think about that. You guys can comment down below, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.